internet, this is Lord Mad Dog, and we are playing From the Depths. So, I was talking to someone on the Discord channel uh, by the name Hikari, I think that's how you would say it, and he mentioned about being able to defeat uh, the highest level uh, campaign. I mean, number f put the difficulty all the way up to number five, having it godly designs, having it reinforced texture by two, and uh, central, I mean, localized materials, and having 2,000 times experience. And I'm thinking, whoa, I'm a good designer, but I, I, I mean, beating anything over a, a, a difficulty, I mean, you put the damage modifier over three, and, and you things just tear you to shreds and you don't do any damage so I'm like well I'm gonna try to make something that can do that so this is the original cut I'm not gonna be able to show you a lot of it because I was basically doing it and just not really thinking about uh, recording it but I do got snippets of me doing it so this was the original concept uh, sticking this thing that costs 500, almost 600k in and by itself as the main weapon because particle cannons can't be blocked. Now, I do end up getting three of these main particles in there. Uh, like something like this. The three of these type things in there. And then this much, uh, three, four, uh, three more, much smaller. Yeah. Okay. So here I'm going to uh, try out. As I, the big thing there, my computer couldn't actually have handle it, and I realized that, and it was like, ah man, because <laughs> that would have been a really big machine, so I had to go with something much smaller. Here, I am actually going to try to work out uh, the base. I was trying to make it like a boat-like circle or structure to stick this in, um, but with going by four, four by four by four by four, just this little method right here. I end up with a giant triangle. Also, another problem I ran into when building this is that 4, 64 is the ma at least for my computer. I don't know if it is for everyone. 64 is the max uh, distance you can use to copy a, a thing and paste it. So that that also limited limited me very much in what I was able to accomplish because I wanted well, I wanted to created a bigger area but 64 by 64 so I had to build the turret in four pieces and by building it in more than four pieces would have been really hard so it basically makes it kind of you know also another thing is because this is a particle cannon and I'm building it like the obliterator if you watch my obliterator it's all on one turret and things on uh, when you have a lot of blocks on one turret the game gets laggy so I was also limited in that way. However, I do believe in the end that this is more or less a success. It's not as great a success as I want. I mean, it's the only vehicle I've ever made that can actually take on a fort, uh, 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 take on um, a fort, uh, five, uh, any enemy over the lightning hoods or the lightning hoods on that at a time not multiple though no way this i could never take on any multiple multiple enemies he's got to basically be just one enemy at a time and that's basically what he talked about doing was having one enemy at a time um but i, I get the idea this was back when lasers were really really powerful I, and uh it was back before engines were changed but i'm not entirely sure um so i've decided i'm going to try to do that for this and here as you see i'm basically just my, uh mapping out this giant structure piece here. I'm going to jump a little bit forward because this is long and boring crafting of this thing. So here I've got a nice big long setup like this. Now I wanted it to come out and come back but like I said limitations. Couldn't come out 64 by 64 so uh, I end up actually having to make a triangle. So this right here as base piece and then I've put it together. Oh, now here, this is I've already put everything pretty much together, and now I'm testing it out. But it, I didn't actually show the rate base shape here. Now, that's basically the the this roughed out shape. I had to cut it down because of 64, but it it turned out not too bad. It really did. It wouldn't turn out didn't turn out too bad uh, for shape wise. And as you can see here, I've got I've got these three in there. They're fully done. But I'm not being able to hit this thing because you have to. I have to adjust it a lot more. Uh, different settings. Also had him back too far in there. 
just basic the, this is the basic concept is not the finished product and I do end up finishing it now if I had to do this all over again I wouldn't have used the lens uh, style I thought for sure the lens would be better but the problem with the lens like I've said uh, when I was doing the obliterator is that anything can shoot off the lens no matter how well and how good you protect it not only that uh, I think for direct impact if I would have made these things to return to themselves I think impact damage may would have been better at this size than pierce damage um, because well duh I mean right there I changed it to impact and you can see that impact has a lot bigger and better area and it probably would have also been a lot more accurate however the problem with the particle cannon is no matter how many pieces you have it never gets any more accurate the only time you, the only way you can actually ever make it any more accurate is by turning up the charge time and you can edit all the you know the attenuation and whatnot but you don't really get any more accurate unless you go ahead and you make increase the charge time <laughs> there's just a little bit of fun just playing with this and uh, playing with the crack in here one first shot totally wipes off it, it set up but I'm out of energy so now I can't even do any damage <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and jump a little bit forward now I'm gonna basically have the turret eked out this is basically the the turret I was actually trying to add a little bit more power to it here just to test it out better uh, boom boom yeah it, it definitely be a pretty power it was I knew this it was gonna be okay powerful it could shoot through terrain that's a that's a plus for sure but you don't have a lot of terrain and I'm just gonna make this thing flying I'm not gonna make it a boat now that I have this tur this all kind of eked out I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I was doing for the base basically uh, a com somewhat a much bigger version of the obliterator as you can see here this is a uh, the base it flies very very well and it's just downright pretty amazing how, how well this thing actually turns out pretty smooth moving um, as in my base and then I'm gonna create a four piece turret piece in there and uh, put the turret on it so I'm gonna jump forward as I craft out the back here and do all this little nice little editing pieces here now the big problem with this is that I end up having to do an insane amount of clipping with where I stir, store my batteries. Well, of course, we know that batteries cannot go in in a, a turret. I understand the reasons why. Hopefully, that will eventually be changed. Okay. All right. That, that's all I had recorded of the building. Okay. Hopefully, that will actually be changed. But um, there's also another problem. I was going to put all of my RTGs, because I'm going to build this with RTGs, all of my RTGs inside the turret. Well, the actual turret part, because RTGs can go on the turret. And that was, you know, really easy. I can armor it up. I made enough room in there, tons and tons of room. And I did that. At least I tried to. Is what happened is that because of all the armor and all the RTGs, when I move the turret, the whole game goes, uh, uh, and not move. So I had to wipe out a lot of my armor, which really, really sucked, and take out all of my RTGs for it to actually not be stopping lag. Because um, particle cannons don't have multi-sectional pieces they're all one piece and each one of these particle cannons has close to 10,000 pieces each you get where I'm going with that that's gonna be a problem but enough about the creation of it let's go ahead and go look at it so here we are this is the world's end at least that's what I named it the world's end uh, as you can say it looks pretty neat pretty nifty I mean it's not it's not the most perfectly aesthetic design but I think it, it ends up looking pretty cool it looks like something that may be considered a um, some weird ship in sci-fi and boom. I have them all set at 10 more or less at 10 I think I think there's one at five 
and as you can see it's not overly laggy when I move but you can definitely tell the lag difference when I'm moving the turret around now it has a limitations on where it can move yeah. there we go so let's go ahead and look on the inside now looking on the inside is practically impossible except for um, just the very edges here this is the top layer of particle cannons. This is my much smaller version. As you see, these are only have 179, 100, 178, 175. All right. Now the ones down below it, which through, through another layer of armor, these ones are my big ones. These ones have 800, 800, 800, and 800. All of them 800s. And there's three of these. Now that one has 794. That one there only has 794, but more or less. And then I have all this space armor where I was going to put armor armor. You know, I was going to put a layer, a layer, and make it real space armor. I mean, space efficient, spacing, spacing armor. Now, and here down here is another layer of armor. I was going to completely just, uh, those are my uh, smoke deflectors, put another layer of spacing armor. Because five times damage, shoot, man. But I did do that, and I had to remove it because the carrot turret couldn't move. Yeah, just uh, totally, absolutely down heartbreaking for me. I was just like, oh. So that's the reason why this is a partial success and a great success at the same time. I mean, it works. It can kill, but it does take a decent amount of damage because of not being able to put the multiple layers of armor in that I wanted. Now, this thing cost 200 and no, 2.5 million resources. Now, of course, five, you're gonna end up with something like that. But I was able to actually build it in the campaign so I can actually test it. So, I don't have much resources left, so it only has like 100K left to uh, uh, test it on different things. But I, this is taken up from the, uh, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, first off, I'm gonna show you the actual core, what it looks like without. Now, uh, where are we at? got to try to find my location here inside this big old mess. Let's edit this turret, then jump back. Hopefully that, nope, that didn't do it. I've actually got to find the core. There is. Like, <coughs> Where is the core? I've never had a problem finding the core before. Ah, here we're getting close. No, we're not. Ah, they don't have to zoom out here. This is where I'm going. There we go. Now zoom up. Um, wait, why am I so far off? Oh, the, oh yeah, that's why. Duh. There we are. No, find the core really easy. Here we are. Uh, as you see, I've left the core very wide open. I know the turret's not going to collide anything, but I wanted to make it even real realistic so it wouldn't actually be collecting, even though there is definitely trimming, I mean clipping, because there has to be, because that's the way the game works. Like, you can't restore resources on a turret either. I understand. I get it. Just, it makes this build. Uh, once the game is improved, and once it, the the turret has not been allowed to make clipping any before anymore then I will be able to change this so this is the core block as you can see here it's all clustered around the very mental so it doesn't actually show on the outside but yep that's the oh wow I got I painted it when I was painting it oh, that's hilariously horrible and so and then here's my laser defense system it which works amazing out of five point out of the five pipe to, to, to time thingy because it has 249 254 continuous damage and any missile that comes out comes on at any from any faction just poof dead but at five times not so much literally not so much because <laughs> it, it takes your damage down to two so it's one fourth of that which is 56 well, it's around 50 some damage, 60 something actually, uh, damage cause at the end. And, and when you got bigger missiles coming at you, they're, they've got 200 and some life. And with the inaccuracy of lambs, which I don't understand why they're so stinking inaccurate, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. 
even today our, our lambs are 100% accurate. I understand why they would make it not so because it's kind of game ruining, but I don't know. Missiles are actually very dangerous at five times damage. So let's go ahead and let's jump right on into the campaign now that I've shown you this. All right, so here we are in the campaign. If you had watched my other series that um, you would recognize where we were in this campaign before I stopped playing because it got boring. Now, I'm going to show you the campaign options. Campaign options. As you can see, I have it maxed out. We have experience gain 2,687%. Yeah! And um, I found out that you have to actually get resources to gain XP. So <laughs> I don't have it all the way down to zero. But I have it to one. <laughs> Uh, let's get so let's go ahead and actually fight with these settings this is when I heard he was able to do that it was just a mental challenge for me like I can do that I can build something that can do that and well that's what I'm doing here okay so we got a terawatt terawatt and dagger okay terawatts are pretty dangerous uh, even at this that uh, yeah at this level but like I said not more than one enemy at a time not happening they'll just they just rip you to shreds and you can't do hardly any damage to them and then someone's gonna come on and be like oh i can do that it's stick it easy i do it all the time your design sucks oh, that may actually be so i mean this is my first time ever trying to build for this level of difficulty oh, oops here comes in this thing right off the bat oh it's gonna fly over top of me my turret takes a while to turn but it's not going to be a big deal. And I will turn slowly to get to it. Oh, also I have missiles on this thing. Which, are, they don't do any damage at this de at this level at all. Uh, interceptors, they could not kill the interceptors. I originally had them as missiles interceptors because, like I said, missiles are deadly at this level. And, well, that didn't work out because... <laughs> it didn't do any damage at this level. <laughs> so there we go AI dead of course that was an easy little feller now the big guys are the terawatts and whatnot as you can see the game is very slow moving actually I am turning extremely fast uh, it's just because if you see I'm moving at 20, 27 meters 28 meters per second 30 meters per second and that's really fast turning here we are, the Terawatt. And uh, here, you'll see what I mean by its missiles. My miss, uh, my uh, anti-missile system should obliterate those missiles really, really, really easy. But you'll actually see that a lot of them will get into me, and get, get through. So I had to turn my armored side through to it. Otherwise, it'll obliterate my front end, my turret, my lenses, and even that will it'll actually do a little bit of damage to the armor. Oh wait, that didn't do too much. That's not not bad. But let's kill that missile thing so it cannot do that again. Oops, I missed that missile pod. No, it's doing more damage to itself than I do right now. Yes, I have shields. They're fate power 10. Oh, look at all those damage those missiles just caused. Massive amount of damage. And there's no way to stop them at this level. <laughs> there we go. Finally took this thing down slower. And, uh... But... Oh, I didn't kill off the missiles. Dang it. I thought I did. Actually, I probably, I didn't realize it, now that I'm really thinking about it, I should have tried to go with missile decoy systems. I thought for sure I could make a, system, uh, a LAM system at this level that would totally obliterate that. But, as you can see, that's just not, not happening. And what's also another thing is at this level, see, they didn't actually break through my armor at all. The outer armor. But, they lag through the system. And they'll go through 
and because I can't put a, a space wall armor, see, it lagged through the armor. Missiles are not supposed to have any penetration, armor penetration. They don't. Uh, but the, uh, the, uh, my computer cannot handle it, so they lag through the armor. That's really annoying to me. I, I really That really chaps my hide, because if I had a better computer, that would never happen. care of its missile launching. Die, dang it. Uh, also another thing at this level. Alright, damaged. At this level, another thing that's really annoying is that EMP damage, no matter how high it is, does not work. I do not why. You know why it must be a bug or anything. I can hit I can hit an AI with thirty thousand three hundred thousand EMP damage right where the AI is and it will not die either I don't understand it's just I guess it's just game mechanics at this level I don't understand it and it's like whoo but the EMP damage does do other things for some reason it seems to halt the enemy fire it won't kill their weapons but the EMP damage will with that much damage it will stop them from being able to shoot for a few seconds so I do have one of my things set for EMP damage because that few seconds of being able to stop the person an enemy from shooting is awesome I mean it's just like yeah so if you hit in the right place. And here we're going to wait till this terawatt spawns in. I'm going to take out the missiles right away because those, those are actually my enemy. Because my shields, uh, my shields actually do stop at level 10. They stop lasers dead in their tracks. And I'll need to create a missile buoy for system for this, uh, a, a flare system. Uh, that because oh, it didn't take out the missile system. I thought it did. So yeah, if, if you know what I'm talking about, for missiles have actually been pretty much nerfed to the ground, and they don't really do a lot of damage. They're just they're pretty much worthless. But in this low level difficulty, they're way more powerful than they used to be <laughs> because of their uh, ability to lag through armor and different things. And now I'll go ahead and pick off the AI right where the AI is at. Now, should it, see that see for me I've never actually aimed at the uh, missile pod first I've always aimed at their lasers and different things first but with this setting I didn't I've got to get used to actually aiming at wherever the missiles are coming out of because well, unless I maybe maybe if I make a decoy system that might help here we are but this this, this is it this is seen how much easier I took out the terawatt when I took out its missile system first the terawatt is dead already, more or less. And I shown you the damage they're set at. I believe that's the current setting they were set at. Yeah, that was the current setting. Uh, so if you go want to go see what my turrets were set at, wait, no, did I show you the damage? I I'll go ahead and show you the AI dead. Yes. I, know, I directly hit the AI with my impact and pierce. Ah, so, right here, I go see if I can show you the damage that these, my, my what's it called, are set at. Even though, yeah, there we go, here we go. So, this one's set as an EMP. So, 59,000 EMP damage at this point. Uh, I can up that with damage attenuation and accuracy. I find that this is about the best compromise at the moment. I've tested it quite a bit. You can see from my level I've gained quite, quite a lot. And this one's my impact. This one I want to shoot a little bit faster than the other one. So this was 50, 54k damage on impact, which turns out to be 25% less. At least I think that's how that works. And this is my high, uh, higher impact because I don't have them all set at 10 because I find that Impact, even if you got in the hundreds of thousand impact, there's a massive amount of damage that impact can do. And that is the end of that battle. Uh, 
It was only a level 35, but I more or less handily hit it, killed it. The big problem is, is that at this level, you would never be able to sustain your resources because the damage, amount of damage you take, and the amount of damage that you you deal out. I mean, you gain from the resources is just not there. See, I had began with 900, uh, 90k, now I'm down to 64k. <laughs> yeah. Now you're probably like, well, I, you know, it's awesome, awesome, Lord Mad Dog. All right, let's. Uh, can I see what this thing does on easy level? Yeah, I'll, I'll see that. Let's go back to game configure. Oops. Game options. Back down to one. One. There you go. We'll go ahead and take on a level 10 of uh, 40, 41. Uh, yes. Wait, why did it? And, oh, well, whatever. A crossboat, Tarawa. Okay, yep. Eh, easy battle. Oh, oops, begin battle. Oh, this little guy here. Oh, poor fella. Boom. There's nothing left of that ship. Nothing left. Even my missiles do did good damage against it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but right after I killed that one thing, I drove myself right into the water. I was not watching what I was doing. I still finished the battle really easily and handily, but I decided that didn't didn't look right. I mean, it wasn't as I say it. it just wasn't a fun battle. It wasn't good enough to showcase what this thing is capable of. I have to watch what I'm doing. Moving <laughs> I don't want to drive myself into the water like that. So let's go ahead and actually take on an enemy here. Here we are. Ah, Tarawa Ter and Ob and an Ohm. All right. So an underwater craft. An Ohm is a is also a no. That's a water skimmer. Ohm is a water skimmer. So here we got to start ourselves not quite as high because I'll drop out of the sky at fast speeds. Don't want to do that. I want to start about 160. That way I'm close range. Yes, I like being close range. One good shot. This thing is more of a close range. Now, if I would have gone with lasers, and I probably could have made this thing out of lasers, but everything I've done is made out of lasers. And, you know, there's things that guard against lasers, and that's not as fun. So we're fighting the ohm right off the bat. Let's go ahead and one-shot it. I'm pretty sure that'll be a one-shot. Did we kill you, ohm? Yes, we killed the ohm in one shot. That's nice. Bye-bye, ohm. Let's go ahead and pause the game. Let that thing go away real quick. There we go. Next one will spawn in, which is the... What are you? Um, submarine creature or something? I'm not sure. I don't remember what you are. Uh, well, I shot him off in one shot. Let's see if I can kill him in a few more shots. Okay, so he's a submarine. I, yeah, I knew he was a submarine. I just wasn't sure what he was. For some reason. Uh, let's see. Where is the best place to shoot you? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to have to kill this guy completely. I don't know where his, uh, his death point is at. I mean, his main stuff is at. I don't fight this guy enough to know where his main stuff is at. Just wipe out his leg, right out, wipe out his left and right leg, and then... The game will say, oh, he's sinking. Because he will be sinking here any moment. Boom. There we go. Yes, as you can see, very, very, very easy with this machine. Uh, and easy diff uh, with normal difficulty. One, two shots, most best. Three, well, let's give it 50 seconds for each vessel max. <laughs> to, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Exit that. 
come on, sink you. Taking a while for it to uh, sink. Because <laughs> you notice how slow the seconds are? That's because of how slow this game is actually playing right now. Because, well, massive ship. Man, the turret's moving. Anytime the turret, my turret moves, man, there. Now it speeds up because I'm not using the turret now. Where's the enemy at? Wait, where's the... Oh, there. Just over here. The terror lot. And it will spawn in here any moment. Come on. Long waiting is annoying. There we go. And give it a good old shot. And for some reason, I'm not being very accurate lately. Normally, I'm really, really accurate with this, this thing's really accurate. Put a hole straight through the entire ship. For some reason, right now, it's being very inaccurate. Okay. There we go. More accuracy. Uh, and we're going to obliterate you. We're going to try to take out his AI within a few seconds. Or well, we probably should just go ahead and kill his engine, too, first, though. That way, it stops moving, which makes things a lot easier. And let's go ahead and kill its AI. Now this thing is not at all in the least bit designed for, um, uh, what is it called? Well, <laughs> capturing, yes. I don't have an ejection sheet on it. I don't have anything like that. The whole object of this, I probably could do that. I definitely, actually, I know I could do that. Oops, let me turn around to see this guy. I know I could do that. But uh, it's not worth the time and effort. This is just one, this is an experiment in seeing if I could actually build a machine that could operate a, at that capacity of five times difficulty, five times hardness level. And yeah, I think I can. I think I did. Would it be? Re I don't think I could actually beat it like the game like this. No, I don't think it could ever beat the game at this this difficulty at the current the way it currently is. Um, I'd have to design a, I'd have to really design a different ship, not not the way I did. I, there are some things I learned I would actually I'd have to redesign and start from the beginning again. AI dead. Zip. There we are. That is how easy this ship kills on easy. <laughs> That's a, that's a godly level, of course. And yeah, Lord Mad Dog. Well, I well first off, I hope you enjoy this build. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Tell me the inefficiencies of it. Tell me where I went wrong. What you would have done to make it better. Uh, or if you really think it's just outright awesome, tell me about that. Anyway, and if you do like the video, like the. Like, like it and share it and subscribe. I'd be thankful for that. Lord Mad Dog, signing off.